Hey guys, it's Shelby the Rat, and today is again another Foraging Friday. Um, <laughs> as you can see, the rats are working with the foraging toy that I'm going to be reviewing today. So this here is, oh, oh my gosh, I can never remember these names, but I think it's called the Tilt-A-Wheel. It's one of these creative foraging systems uh, made for birds. And basically the way it works is that, as you can see, there is a clear tube right here and you put some food inside it and the rats have to rotate this because there are only two openings. You have one here and you have one here. And if they want to get a, let's say, treat out, they have to rotate it some in order to get the food to slide down. And you can see it's also tilted a little bit, which is, well, what helps the food slide down. And it also has some marbles in it, which are a little bit unfortunate because those things can be very loud. Uh, that's probably one of the downsides I have with it. But in terms of use, I really like this foraging toy just because it's, well, it's a lot like the food tumbler one I have in that it requires the rats to rotate it. And that's just something I really like to see in foraging toys. I'm not sure why, but it just feels like a very unique concept. Uh, I guess it's not unique because a bunch of them do it, but it feels unique in that only a few of them really utilize it. Anyways, as you can see, the rats are definitely enjoying themselves here. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and show you how this toy mounts because I was actually really afraid when I first got this that it was going to just fall off the cage. Uh, it is a pretty hefty toy, so you are kind of surprised when you first see that this is all that's holding it up. So this looks really unsturdy, but it's actually a lot sturdier than I thought it was. Uh, it holds up really well. I haven't had it fall off or go sideways or anything like that yet, which is very nice, of course. Oh my gosh, those dang marbles. Seriously, I wish I could remove those marbles. You cannot remove them as far as I can tell, and that kind of sucks. Uh, and I guess that kind of brings me to one of the downsides of this toy. You can't really open it. There are some screws here, and I think you might be able to unscrew them and then open up the toy. I have never tried that. I have <laughs> a few different foraging toys that show this uh, kind of screwing on thing, and I have never tried to unscrew them because, well, first of all, it looks pretty hard. They are pretty tiny and just, I don't know, it just looks difficult to do. And I don't want to reattach them afterwards, especially because, well, I think that would suck. But the other thing I'm afraid of is just breaking it. This is actually one of the better quality foraging toys just in terms of construction. So I'm not too worried about that, but I am worried about it with some other toys and so I've never really tried it. But anyways, it kind of sucks that you can't open them up. That means that you can't really clean it because, well, if you do, you have to air dry it and you only have two tiny holes to air dry it unless you unscrew it, which Again, it's not really something that's easy to do. And as for refilling, again, you pretty much only have those two holes. And while they are thankfully fairly large, I do wish that there was a way to just, you know, remove like this part so that I could easily refill it and clean it and stuff like that. But in terms of just regular use and using some dry treats like you see here, it's a pretty good toy. I'm pretty happy with it just because, well, the rats really seem to like using it. Uh, they like to rotate it around. You can see Bean is trying this right now. Well, <laughs> and it's kind of funny watching them fight over the little things. I'm actually really happy that they only give you these two slots uh, because I originally thought they gave you more and I'm realizing now that that would make it way too easy considering how it's designed. So, oh my God, the rats ate so many of these treats. But <laughs> anyways, uh, I'm really glad, like I said, that they gave you not too many holes just to make it so that the rats have to work a little bit harder. Um, I do want to note that, as with all foraging toys, I do tend to use lab blocks in them mainly, but I do put in a lot more treats during these foraging reviews because I just want the rats to, you know, use it while I'm actually reviewing it so that you can see how it works. The only other thing I have to say about this toy, really, is that it's really large. Uh, pictures do not do it justice. Uh, one sec, I need to go ahead and get my other toy. So this, this is the other food tumbler they have, and you can see it's quite a bit smaller, especially because it is a vertical instead of horizontal. So yeah, there's a pretty big difference. Definitely something to keep in mind with these bird foraging toys, especially the ones for larger birds, because they tend to be, well, on the larger side. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this foraging Friday, and as always, I hope to see you later. Bye!
did you bring the box with you? Oh my god.